All right, so announcement from the Football Association of Zambia is that this Thursday will be the day that we'll see the semi-finals in the Summer Zoom Glove Charity Shield. So kicking off at 1300 hours at the Arthur Water Davis Stadium in Kitwe, it will be Zesco United taking on Power Dynamos. Then thereafter, we'll see Nkana Kalampa taking on Zanako. So lots of football to expect. And the final will take place on Sunday at the Levy Mwanawasa Stadium. So all the best as uh, the first silverware for the year is up for grabs. I'm sure all these teams will treat this competition with the seriousness it uh, deserves. So let's uh, take... Uh, uh, a look at what David Spiri had for us when conversation with him earlier. David Spiri is uh, the goalkeeping coach for Amazulu and of course his former goalkeeping coach of the Chipolo Polo. The multi-million dollar question was, all things goalkeeping, why haven't we been able to export goalkeepers anymore? The last one we did was Kennedy Mwene many moons ago. Here's David Spiri. I think uh, Magan Banda for him to, to improve his game, he needs to play regularly for, for a team. And if Zanako can't run him out, uh, he needs to command for the first jersey for the club, which is not as easy as you may think, because they've got three good goalkeepers in Sabata, Rach and himself. So uh, I personally, my opinion is I'd love to see him play for another team if Zanako can agree to loan him because it's good for him to be playing regularly for, for the under 20s plus he's going to the World Cup in a few weeks to come and I think uh, he needs to have game time for him to perform to show what he did in the AFCON. Again, uh, we spoke about uh, exporting players to South Africa. I think uh, uh, if you look at uh, how I, I came to South Africa or Kennedy or Mwene, it's because I think we, we were playing uh, regularly in our teams, especially in the national team. We had a competitive tournament, Africa Cup and what. You see, when you're playing at the highest level, people focus what the team is doing and uh, they, they try to, to show their interest in you. Of late, uh, Zambia, we, we we haven't had a good outing, especially in the in the Chan, uh, Kosafa Senior. We haven't done well to command uh, that respect from other countries to see our goalkeepers for us to be exported. So it's a challenge that uh, we are facing. I think uh, of late, Canada has been playing alone. As a result. Uh, we, we, we don't have any other keeper that they see. So Kennedy has got a contract of which no one would sign him from the other side because it's the keeper that is known. So we need to play another keeper in other tournaments so that they can get an opportunity also to be seen by others so that they can have that opportunity to, to play outside. Like any other player, what is needed is game time. If he plays, it will be easy for him to be seen by other teams to, to sign him. Uh, uh, more especially that he's playing for the national team. Uh, to me, I look at him as uh, the next Zambia national team goalkeeper in the making because if you look at Kennedy, Kennedy now is getting old. So we need to find a replacement for him as before he even stops. So we need to find an understudy of Kennedy. Because at the moment, Kennedy is competing with Jacob. Jacob has done well for, uh, for Zesco, and he has done well for the national team. The last outing were in Uganda. He was the man of the match for that game. And, uh, but if you look at their age, Jacob and uh, Kennedy, the difference is not that big. So I feel we should start uh, uh, developing a youngster uh, that will take over from Kennedy when he stop and uh, Mangani playing the tournament of that magnitude in the AFCON under 20. He proved that he can be our Zambia's uh, first choice keeper in the years to come because uh, it's such tournaments that makes a player to grow 
uh, in a good player. So I think uh, we are in the right direction, but all we need is to nurture him well and make him believe that he can still do All right. That was Devis Piri, uh, Amazulu coach, uh, doing well. I mean, uh, we don't have a lot of experts of goalkeeping coaches as well. So I didn't put that question to him, perhaps next time. But tell you what, gentlemen, should we be worried that we are unable to seemingly export goalkeepers? What are we doing wrong? And I asked this question because off, off the mic, we're arguing about goalkeepers and what they are and what they think. But I'll give an example of Cameroon. They've got a top-class goalkeeper with Ajax Amsterdam, Andre Onana. You've got Idris Kameni, who was at Espanyol for many years. You've got Jacques Songo, who was there for many years. And even now, <laughs> I mean, they've had quality. What's the problem back home? In your opinion, Linus? Well, look, um, I don't think it's necessarily a problem. Um, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna use Davis Perry, Kalidido Kakonje, um, and Kennedy Moon, um, and um, Jacob uh, Jacob uh, Banda. Jacob Bander. Uh, I believe when a team is looking for a foreign goalkeeper, they look at certain aspects. Um, not only should you be agile and you know the basics of a goalkeeper. They look at look at how Davis P before he went to SA was. Yes, he's he was almost similar with uh, the young the young boy Mangani in stature. That was when he was young, but when he advanced, started playing professional, he bulged up. So I believe those are some of the, the features that hinder our goalkeepers from from uh, you know going abroad. Because, okay, fine, let's say we take Mangani to go and play professional, uh, play first team football. Is he going to collide with those big number nines? Is okay. he going to challenge them? 